Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 2 of this RMS Titanic tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the ship's main hull, basically the black section on the prototype over there. Uh, this could go into two videos, I'm not sure, but uh, un well, like the uh, red section, uh, I managed to do that one-on-one -on -one video. So hopefully I'll be able to do all the black section today as well, but uh, we'll see how far we get. So um, yeah, Alright, so what we're going to do, uh, if you're familiar with my usual videos or usual tutorials you'll know that I usually build the black section in white for the purpose of the video so you can see everything and then I'll change over to uh, black later on so if you're confused by what I'm doing it's just for pure visuals you know so I'll build the ship in white or the black section in white and then I'll change it to black so like I say it's just for visual purposes but it's also handy if you're using this to build the Britannic as well so then you can just copy it anyway building it in white uh, so yeah, All right. so like before with the uh, red section we got to the center section which is number 0 and then to the side of that would be 1, 2, all the way up to number 24 and it would be the same the other side although I've not uh, labelled them. So we'll start from the center and work our way up to number 24. So for section number 1 we want to build up 3, so 1, 2, 3 and then up 16, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 like so, so that's section 0 okie dokie, that's section 0 in white, but I'll change it to black later on you build it in black, or any colour you want right, for section number 1 we want to build up 5, so 1 2, 3, 4, 5 and then up 14, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 14, like so now we're on to section 2 I'll just change the page on my notes so I'm not doing so section number two, right, section number two, we want to build up two, so we go up two, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. So that's section two. Now under section three, just change my notes again, so section three, we build up three, one, two, three, and then up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six again, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and then six again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, <coughs> like so, right. Are they all the same height? Yep, that's fine. Right, so now we're on to section number four. Change my notes again. Section number four is the same as number three, so what we do, we do three up again, so one, two, three. And then three sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. So that's section number four done. Now to section number five. Once again, changing my notes. So section five. Section five, I want to build up two. So one, two. And then uh, four. One, two, three, four. And then five. One, two, three, four, four four five I just double check that one two three four five yep and then five again one two three four five and then six one two three four five six like that so that was section number five on to section number six once again change my notes section number six we build up two so up two and then up four one two three four and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's basically the same as number five. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so that's number six done. Now we're under number seven. Change my notes again. Number seven is pretty much the same again. Uh, so number seven, we build up two, one, two, and then up four, one, two, three, four. Then up five, one, two, three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like so. Then we back down again, now we're on to section number eight. Change my notes again. Alright, number eight, we build up two. So we go up one, two, and then we want three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So that is section number eight done. Now we're under section nine. Change my notes again. Section nine, we build up two. So up two. And then we go up four. One, two, three, four. And then four again. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then four again. One, two, three, four. And then four again. One, two, three, four. And then 
Uh, six, I think. So one, two, three, four, five. No, that's not right, is it? Uh, let's call it five then, if it's uh, not right. I'll come back and double check that in a minute, I think. So it's up four, so it's up two, and then four, 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 and then that one. So I'll make it five, but it could be six. I'll come back to that one later on. So that is number number nine, so I'll just mark that. So check nine. Hopefully the bloody pen worked. Right, so now we're on to section ten. I'll just change my notes and move on to number 10. 10 here. We want to build up 2. So we've got 2 and then 2 again. So 2, 2. And then 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows of 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we go. That's the same height again. All right, so that is section number 10 done. <coughs> now on to number 11. Number 11, we want to build up 2. So up 2, and then 3, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So it's 2, 3, 3. And then we want uh, 4 rows of 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And they're all the same height, so that's fine there. Now we're on to section number 12. And things change a little bit here, so then we're going to start building forward. So on section number 12, you build forward 2. So you go 2 forward like that. And then you want to build up 2, so up 2. And then you want 3 rows of 3, so you go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Fall to the ground, 3. <laughs> and then 3 rows of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the same height again. Now on to section number 13. Section 13 is 2 up, so we build 2 up. And then we want uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows of 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. That should be five rows of three. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the same height again, so that's fine. Now we're under section 14. Change my notes again. Section 14. We want to build forward two. So we go one, two, forward like that. And then up two, like that. And then up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rows of three. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six rows of three like that. And then a row of four. One, two, three, four. And once again, that's the same height as the rest. <coughs> Down to section 15 now. Right, so change my notes again. Section 15, we want to build up two. So we've got up two. And then three. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 rows of 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 8 rows of 3 like that. So that is, uh, that was section 15 on that. So I'll just double check there. Section 15, yep. So now we're on to section 16. Just bear with me while I change my notes. So, oh, hang on. so it's section 15. That's right, so section 15 now, we're under section 16. And this, I've lost the notes. No, I haven't. Right. Okay, section 16. You want to build up, no, build forward two. So forward two and two again. And then up two, like that. And then we want uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of three. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven and then one at the end so one there like that so it's like that so it's two two and then up two and then seven rows of three and a one so that was that one so that was number what was that that was number 16 so now we're on to number 17 let's adjust my notes so now we're on to 17 so on number 17 you want to build forward four rows of two so we go two 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 so it's four rows of two like that and then up two, and then up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rows of three. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six and one at the end like that. So that's that section there. So that was number 17. And now we're on to section 18. Adjust my notes again. So on the section 18, we want one, two, three, four, five, six rows of two. So section 18, six rows of two forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then up two, like that. And then you want uh, one, two, three, four, five rows of three. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and one at the end, like that. So that was section 18. And down we go to section 19. Change my notes again. So section 19, we want uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rows of two. So uh, section 19, eight rows of two forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rows of two like that. And then we want two up. And then we want four rows of three. So one, two, three, four. And one at the end, like so. So that was section 19. Now down to section 20. Change my notes again, and for this one, we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rows of two for this one. So, section 20, ten rows of two forward. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then up two. And then up three, three, three. So three rows of three. One, two, three. And one at the end. And that's not right. So I'm going to have to double check this one. All right. So bear with me. Okay. Back again. It was my mistake. I added 11 twos instead of 10. So I've just recorrected that. So it's 10 twos like that. And then up two. And then the three, three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the one. There we go. That's what I'm. That's what I've done wrong. I added an extra row of two. That was my fault. So that was section uh, twenty. So now we're on to section twenty-one. So let's try and get it right this time. So section twenty-one. We want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we want twelve rows of two for this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So that's 12 rows of 2. And then up 2. And then 2 rows of 3. So we want 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 1. Like that. So we're gradually taking shape. So now we're on to section 22. Down here. So section 22. Change my notes again. Section 22. We want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 rows of 2. So we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 rows of 2, and then up 2, and then 3. 1, 2, 3. And that's that. You don't need the extra one on the end, so it's just like that. Right, so now to the next row, section 23, and section 23, we want 16 rows of 2, so I've already written this down, so it's 16 rows of 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, like so, and then up two, and then two, like that. That can't be right, can it? Bear with me. Uh, right, so it's 16, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then up two. Uh, yeah, I do. Right, so that was, that was right. So I just read it wrong. Right, okay. Uh, apologies there. So, right, so now we're on to section 24, the last section. Thank Christ. Um, and on section 24, you want to build a row of three forwards. So one, one, two, three, like that. So it's a row of three. 
and then 15 rows of 2. So we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then lastly, you want up two, like that. And that is the bow section, uh, more or less done. So that is that. Like I say, though, if you're going to build it, uh, build the Britannic, then leave it white. But if you're building Titanic and Olympic, then you build it, build it in black. I'll just build it in white for the purpose of being able to see. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to go to the inside of the ship, inside of the bow, and like on the section below, we're going to just fill in the gap. So fill in the gap there. And next row along, we fill in the gaps here. And then the next row along. And next row along. And you get the idea with this, just fill in the gaps. And it should all look fine. So that's the first few sections done. You can see the hull is roughly taking shape. So what I'm going to do now, I'll do a jump cut while I fill in the rest. Uh, and then we'll move on to the uh, back end. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've filled in all the gaps between the uh, sections of the bow. And now the bow should look something like this. Nothing fancy, but, you know, it's curved enough. Uh, I did check in the section number 9 as well. Uh, if I just go down to where section number 9 is. Uh, where is it? It's... 12, 11, 10, 9, so 9 there. It was up 2, and then 4, 4, 4, uh, 4, and 5, whereas I originally wrote down it being 6 at the top. It is actually 5, so uh, no problems there. Right. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to fly down to the back end of the ship and work on one side of that. So, if you look at the uh, bow, I've already just, one so uh, just done one side. So, I'll come back and do the other side later on and also change the colour as well. So we'll just fly down to the stern and begin that. Uh, the stern's going to go in two phases for the moment. So I'm going to do the first four or five sections then I'll do a jump cut and uh, do a bit of writing down. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I've labelled the stern uh, differently to the way I labelled the bow. Because the stern, what we're going to do, we're going to work from the outside working towards the centre. So section number one is now the outside edge. So number one is there and 24 is the section next to the centre and I've put a sign on the centre block as well so we go down to the end and number 24 is there and then we've got the centre on the centre so we don't have to worry about that so we're working outside in this time so what we're going to do, we're going to go to section number 1 on the outside and what we're going to do, we're going to build back 2 so building backwards facing this way, so 2 that way and then up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 2, and 2. And then 2 back, like that. And then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is the uh, height of the stern for the moment. So that should be eight, uh, 18 high. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's fine. So that's 18 high, how it should be. Right, so from the end of that top row of four, we're going to go to the inside, to the end of it. And we're going to start the uh, top of the stern. So we're going to add a row of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll just measure that because there's a bit of lag there. So I'll just measure that to make sure it's 12. And it is. So we've got the 12 and then add 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we want uh, two rows of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we want a row of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then two rows of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then four rows of two. So we go two, 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 two. And then two inwards like that. 
and then we want uh, a row of three, one, two, three, and then another row, another row of three, one, two, three, and then you put a color block in the middle, which I've already done, I've already marked it, and that will mark the center line. So that's the center point of the stern, and then everything to the other side of that will be the same, uh, just facing, uh, get what going inwards the other way. So that's the center line and the end of the stern. So that's the full length of the ship basically. Um, so from the front to the back, the full height there. So that is the uh, curve of the stern as well. So it's a bit more, uh, a, more a bit more of a curve than what we've done with the uh, previous Titanic. So that's that. Right, so that's section number one done. So what we're going to do now is go down to section number two, which is the next one along. And uh, just bear with me while I change my notes. So section number two. Um, section number two here, we're going to build back two. So we go one, two like that. And then up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two, and two again, Oop, two there, and then we want uh, back two, and then back two, so one, two like that, and then underneath, Oop, underneath and to the inside, so starting from this point here, we're going to trace along the inside of the stern top line, so from this block here, we just build along the inside, tracing the stern up the stern section above. So each end section ends at that point there, so you've got an overlap like that. So set the next section along, and this will go all the way around to that center point in the center of the curve. So it's basically just tracing the inside. It's it's familiar if you if you've built my previous Titanic. It's very similar to the stern process with that, although a bit more arty-farty if you like. And there we go, up to the centre like that, and then the underside that we just built should look something like this. So you can see the overlap uh, just like that. Right, so that's that one. So now we're on to section number three. Once again, change my notes so I don't read the wrong thing. Right, so on to section number three, we want to build back two again, so two back like that, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two, and I could be right, can it? Oh, put one there like that. Um, and then on the inside, we go around this side, and we just trace again the top line. So we'll go from this point. Is that two? Is it meant to be two? I don't know. We'll go from this point anyway. So from there, we just trace the line above again. So doing the same process as before, we just trace the line. So apologies if I sound like I made a mistake, but it all lined up in the end, so I don't have to worry. So we'll just trace along this line here. And it should all look fine when it's done, so just bear with me. And up to the centre like that. So there we go, there's the uh, the next section done like that. So that's three rows done. And uh, yeah, it don't look too bad. So that section we just built, it does look a bit weird at the moment where it's attached to that section there, but once all the... Uh, areas in between have been filled in it should all look fine so don't worry if things look like they're overlapping in the wrong places so what we're going to do now is move down to section four and this will be the last section for the minute because I've got to do a bit more measuring afterwards but for section four we're going to build back two again so back two and then up five one two two three four five and then up six one two three four five six and then three, one, two, three, and then two, and then two again, and then well, one like that. Um, and then what we want to do is, like like before, we just trace the row below. So we add one, two, three there, and then just trace this section as we go. So this would be section four we're tracing.
and there we go that's section number four done and that should look something like that and uh, they don't look too bad do it um, so that's section number four uh, so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, move on to the uh, next stage I'll do, a, I'll do a bit more measuring for the next few sections so I shall return in just a moment so back in a moment okay back again so I've done measuring for the next four sections so uh, we're going to go down now to section number five and uh, whereas the first four were sort of tracing the uh, top section all the way down the next four sections will be not well they'll be tracing slightly but not all the way around so the curve changes slightly so we'll go to section five and uh, what we're going to do we we'll go uh, two back again so two back and then up five one two three four five and then up six one two three four five six and then three one two three and then two like that and then uh, one there and then we'll add a couple of blocks in that space there and then from this top row of two we just built we go on the inside and then what we do we add uh, two rows of six so we go one two three four five six and six again one two three four five six uh, and then two rows of now you have three rows of nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and just double check to make sure that's right it was fine so that's the three nines and then we want a row of eight one one two three four five six seven eight and then six one two three four five six and then two rows of seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven uh, and then five one two three four five and then three rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we go two inwards. No, hang on, we had a yeah, two in like that, I think. And then we want uh, two rows of three, so one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then add a fourth really because that's the center line. So it was four in. So as you can see, the curve is slightly different now. As you can see. The first four were sort of one block apart, the next one down now, where we just built, is now two blocks further forward. So that would be a gap, some gaps to be filled in later on. But that is section number five done. So now we move on to section number six, all the way back again. So I shall change my notes again so I know what I'm looking at. So section number six, we go down to that. And we add a row of two again, so two like that, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three, one, two, th two, three, and then uh, one, like that. And then on the inside, we add a row of six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two rows of nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a row of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a row of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two rows of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a row of uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, and then a row of three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, so one, two, three, like that, and then two across, and then th uh, four, one, two, three, four, and that maps up with the center as well. So that is the next row done. As you can see, the curve is a bit more extreme, like the one above it, and so from the side, the uh, curve gets a bit more shallow. So that was section number six, and then we'll go down to section number seven, and I'm going to change my notes again, so I'm not reading the wrong thing. So for section seven, we add two back again, so one, two, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and then two, two straight up like that. Then on the inside, we get underneath, we add... Uh, two rows of five so one two three four five one two three four five and then six one two three four five six and then another six I think yep one two three four five six 
and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then uh, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then two sevens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, so we go two and two, and then change the direction, we build two inwards like that, and then four, one, two, three, four, and that marks up the center line again, so you can see the curve getting ever shallower. Right, so that's section seven, and now onto the last row of the uh, curvy bits, so now onto section 8. So, bear with me, change my notes again. Right, for section 8, what we do, we build 2 back again, so 2 there. And then up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1, like that. And then on the inside again, we add uh, 2 rows of 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 2 7s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 2 rows of 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, uh, and then a single row of two, so two like that, and then we build two in like that, and then a row of four, one, two, three, four, and that marks up with this or lines up with the center as well. So that is the curve of the stern done like that. So that is eight sections of the stern done, and uh, that's that. So what I'm going to do now, I should do another jump cut, and I'm going to mark out the rest of the stern, and then we can go from there. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now we're going to finish off the rest of the stern, so I've measured out all the bits we need. So moving on now to section number 9, which is down here. Uh, what we're going to do is, where is it there? Right, so there's section 9, so same process again. We're going to build back 2, so back 2 like that. And then up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. Then we move on to section 10, change my notes. And then onto section number 10, what we do, we build straight up 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 2, 1, 2, like that. So uh, section number 9 was 2 back, section 10 is straight up. Right, so section 11 now, so change notes again. Section 11, we want 2 back, so 1, 2, like that. And then up 5, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, and then four, one, two, two, three, four, and then two again, one, two, like that. And then on to the next section, section number 12, change my notes again. So we'll build back two again, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five, and one, there. Now on to section number 13, oh, hang on, change my notes again, and then to drop them. Section 13, back two, like that, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, up four, one, two, three, four, and then two, and one. There we go. Now onto section, uh, what section is it, number 14, change my notes again. Section 14, uh, build back two, so two, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, and one. And the same for section uh, 15, build two back, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, two again, two and one, like that. Same for section uh, 16, we build back two, up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two and one. And then the same again for section 17, we build two back, and up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, and one, like that. Now under section 18, change my notes again. Section 18, we build back again, so build back two, 
and then up five one two three four five five again one two three four five and then one like that and it's the same for another uh, section 19 we build back two like that and then up five one two three four five up again one two three four five and one like that same for section 20 build back two and up five one two three four five five again one two three four five and one like that all right section 21 uh what we do section 21 or is it section 21 we build back two like that and then up nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and one same for section 22 we build back two and up nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and one and then for section 23 change my notes again section 23 we just build straight up ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and one and the same for number 24 six uh, ten straight up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and one and in the center line, which is right here, we burst build straight up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that is, that is the uh, sculpting of the stern done. And uh, it should look something like that. So it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but uh, when it's all done, it should look fine. So like before, what we do, we go on the inside. And I know I've only done one side, but uh, not to worry. So what we do on the inside, we go on the inside here and we just fill in the gaps between each section now so fill in all the gaps here I just do the top section up here first and then the ribs down below so fill in all those bits so that's the uh, the top section done like that so it should look something like that and then for the rest of the sections down here we just fill in the gaps like so so it's uh, another relatively easy job compared to what we've just been doing but I just fill in the first few sections and then uh, do a jump cut like I normally do so bear with me on this let's do one more section and then I'll do a jump cut So well, that's the first few sections done if I just get out and uh, it should look something like that now, there is a big gap between the uh, bottom section and the top but well, that will be addressed in a bit but uh, that's the uh, first few sections filled in anyway so I'm going to do a jump cut while I fill in the rest and then we'll uh, move on to the next bit so uh, back in a moment okay back again now I've filled in all the gaps of the uh, stern section so now the stern should look something like this uh, still with that big gap there but we've got all the gaps filled in other, uh, nonetheless uh, still got the other side to do but not to worry so we've still got this gap here between the uh, bottom and the top but uh, what we'll do is we'll just add a few blocks uh, to join the two sections together and uh, it should all be fine when it's done so I'll just do this as quick as I can I know I could use world edit but I'm trying not to cheat too much and uh, it's not a big gap as what it is on some of my ships anyway so just fill in this gap as quick as we can up to the center there we go so that's that section filled in there so now we've got that space all sorted and uh, it should all look mighty fine so um, next job really is to uh, not really sure what to do so I think what I'll do we'll do one side over here so we're going to add the side of the ship like I normally do so I'll add the side along the side here now from there to there then I'll do a jump cut while I copied it copy it to the other side and then uh, we'll change the color of it so just straighten off these edges so I can use world edit quickly up to there like that so that's that's edge straightened off so I just go from this point here all the way to the front end add the side and then uh, We'll straighten the front end off and then we'll see how we get on. So, down to the front end, which is down here, got this uh, <laughs> diagonal section. So, we'll go up to there and we'll use set uh, quartz and that's so a quartz there. 
up to there. Really, it should be black, but I'm using white just for visual purposes. And then we just fill in the gaps. Actually, I'll straighten this straighten this edge off, then I can use weld it again. Right, so that bit straightened off, and then use weld edit for the rest of it. So down to there, and then from there to there, and there we go. That is the hull, pretty much all done. So we've got the front section done, we've got the back section done. All I need to do basically is uh, if we want to flip it over and uh, change the colour. So um, yeah, so I'm going to flip it over first, copy and flip it. So this may take a while. Actually, I'll go from the this point down here. So if I go from here and there and go to the back end and flip it, copy it, flip it from the back end and make it a bit easier for me. So just fly down to the back end and like I say though I've, I'm building it in white for the purposes of being able to see but if you want to build Britannic then white is the perfect colour so it's absolutely fine. So this could be Brit uh, Britannic if you want but I'm going to change it to black in a minute. But if I go to this point here and we just use copy flip to the right, spelling it right, and then we paste. And hopefully that'll work. And there we go, that's the uh, stern done. So that's the uh, stern all done, like I keep saying, and it should look something like that. So it's pretty good, in my opinion. And uh, that's that. So that's that section done. So I should do the front end as well, so I've got to copy that. Copy that over and then uh, we'll flip it over. <sighs> do, 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 do. Well, there's one more detail I've got to add to the bow as well, but I'll add that in a second. So I just copy and flip the bow over first. Up to the centre there. Copy from there. So we do copy, flip, paste. And there we go. That's the bow all done. And the hull is 100% done. And one last little job is just to add the little chap side to the front of the ship. So one block below the top, we go down here and we add a block there, and a block there, and remove a block in the middle, and that creates a little opening in the bow of the ship. It's not a, I don't know what it is really, it's a, whether it's a light or a guidance thing or not, I don't know, but it's just a little while, a little hole on the front of the ship. So you just add a block either side and remove the front one, and it should look something like that. So that is the hull of our ship, uh, more or less done. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the colour. Uh, I'm going to go from the uh, front here and go down to the back end. And I'm going to be using, oh, I'm going to use black concrete for this um, instead of wool because it's a bit more dense in colour. So I'll just fly down to the stern. And then we'll fly down, we'll drop to the ground, go to there, and we'll use a uh, replace quartz with one, no, two, five, one, uh, colon 15. And we'll see. Did that work? Yep, that worked. There we go. That is the uh, hull all changing colour to black eventually. And I'll do the same the other side. So go down to there, we'll do the same again, and there we go, that is the hull changing colour. So that is the hull now completely black, and I don't look too bad. I've got a, quite a hefty overhang of the stern there, but that's not an issue because once the rudder's on it won't look so abrupt. But uh, that is the uh, stern almost completely done, so yeah, once the rudder's on it won't look too bad. But we'll just fly down to the front end again now and marvel in what we've built, because it's this thing has been a real pain in the backside of the build. But we've got there, we've got the hull done, and then we can move on to some of the more important bits, uh, or later on anyway. So we're not going to do no more today. We'll leave that for part three, four, five, six, and so on. And uh, we'll see what happens. So that is the hull all done. Uh, so that is it for part two. So for part three, we're going to start the superstructure of the ship, mainly the uh, the forecastle deck uh, and the, the stern, what's called the poop deck, or the stern deck. Uh, I've got to add the yellow line as well, that's got to be added, and also the uh, the decks as well, so the main deck, 
of the ship and maybe the super the beginnings of the main superstructure as well but we'll see uh, when we get to it but it's, there's going to be a hell of a lot to do over time but so we've got the main hull done anyway so that is that all sorted um and that's that so this is rich signing off logging off and disappearing and i shall return hopefully in part three so uh bye for now <laughs>